Hey everybody, I'm back at it again with another <laughs> makeup haul. What? And swatches. Those will be at the end though, so stay tuned for that. I made another haul, or haul, another order from Terra Moons Cosmetics, a brand I really like. And for once, this order had no issues. Nothing broken, no wrong shades. It's exactly what I ordered. <laughs> Which is a first. This is the third, third time I bought from Terra Moons. Yeah, so third time's the charm. So they released these like vivid or bright like chameleon shades. So I decided to buy the bundle because I'm trash. And then I bought one shade that was kind of like a one-off shade that I like thought about buying. Hmm, the Hamdan. Finally did that. They did release pastel like chameleon shades that I really want as well. But I told myself, no bitch, no wait just let it out just wait it out a little bit if you really want one get one and so i really like the purple one that they have like the pastel purple one i really like that one plus they have a lot of pastel mattes that they just released so i've been also humming and hawing on buying that but i've told myself not to buy those for now so <laughs> we'll focus on these and enjoy these and play with these i do have one shade on my eyes right now it's the blue if you couldn't yeah it's not Okay, it doesn't look like sh anything here, but it is really pretty and sparkly. And yeah, I did swatch a few of these already on myself because I couldn't help it, so I rubbed them on my skin and they were so pretty. But I'll just show you guys now and kind of go through this semi quickly so then we can just get straight into the swatches. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try not to sit too long on these. So I'll start with the one that's not in this bundle, this shade right here. Snowball. Snow globe. Wow. Looks like nothing. But it is gold. It's an iridescent shade, so it's gold, and then it has a green shift. Or blue green shift to it. It really reminds me of a shade I own from Beauty Bar Baby and Terra or not Terra <laughs> and Bitter Lace. This actually also kind of reminds me of a shade I do have from Terra Moons too. One of their iridescent chameleons. It looks kind of just like it. I put it, I swatched it because I couldn't help it and it does really look similar. Um, if I remember, I will try to put comparison swatches of this with other similar ones to it in this video. If I don't remember, sorry in advance. I'm really busy and spacey lately. So might be, might be. Now into the chameleons. This one is Terrasphere, so it's red. It's red, that's red. Okay, I'm gonna demolish these now since I don't have to show you the, the packaging anymore. I would consider these more just duochromes to be honest, like it has a colored base and then it has a green, not green, gold shift to it, or duochrome shift, so it's really pretty. That one's Terrasphere. Some of these look, are definitely sparklier than others I think as well, just looking in pan, but I'm sure if I swatch them they might be different. Let's go in semi-rainbow order. This one is Solstice. This is one I swatched. It is orange with just a gold shift. Do or do, gold, yeah. Shift, what? <laughs> My words. It's very much like a carrot orange or like tangerine. You know, that kind of really bright, bright orange. When I swatch these, I will try my best to get them in sun. It's been sunny out past week, so I will try my best when I have time to swatch these when it's sunny out. This next one is Radiation, which is a vivid green. Very much like a true grassy green, I would say. With a gold duochrome. You can see where I s <laughs> you can definitely tell where I kind of dug my finger in. See? 
I don't. I didn't dig my finger, and I like gently stroked it. I won't ever describe it like that again. Wow. Now the one that's on my eyes today is Orion's Belt. This one is gorgeous. It's super sparkly and beautiful. You can see where I put my dirty little fingers in it. Yeah. It's so pretty though. Oh, this one's definitely so sparkly and nice. Oh, so pretty. Okay. The next one I also really, really am enamored with. This one's Moon Tide. It is a purple, but I would say it's more of a cool toned purple compared to the other purple that's in this bundle. And this one also seems sparklier than the other purple. This one I'm enamored with for sure. It's just, it's so beautiful. I don't really go for these kinds of cool toned purples. I'm a warm toned purple, purple person. Ones that are more like pinkyish, but this one's, so, oh my god, it's so beautiful. This one I would say is the one that's most chameleon-like, I guess. Because it has this blue-purple base, like some gold shimmers, and then like when you shift it to light, it does get have like a strong blue, blue-green pull to it. It's so, it's so pretty. I don't know how often I'll wear this on my actual eyes, because I don't know if this color is going to work well with my skin tone. Depends, I guess, on what I surround it with, but this one is definitely the one I'm most, like, <sighs> over. This reminds me of, like, maybe what people would consider, like, a grape soda, grape pop kind of color, maybe? Or, like, what else does it remind me of? I don't know. But it's very cool tone. I'll show you, I'll show that one next to this next purple. So this one is UFO. This one is the purple I would typically gravitate to because it's just a warm pinky purple. It's really pretty as well. So I feel like a vibrant. Okay, once again, it's not the best lighting, might be. But I'll show you that one compared to this one. They are significant. See, look how different. They're significantly different. This one, Moon Tide pulls way more blue purple, while UFO is more ruddy purple. This one has more red, this one has more blue. So I'm just one second. Oh, but I'm such a hoe for purples. Purples and pinks are the ones that get me every time. My go to looks are <laughs> purple and pink based. So, just so you know. That's why I really want that pastel purple one from their pastel chameleons. It's so pretty. But I feel like it's probably similar to a shade I have from Cleona. But that doesn't mean I don't want it. Because I really like... Terra Moons is very metallic and shiny. Like it's high, it's high sheen, high gloss. <laughs> and that's it. Those are all I have. I will put the swatches of all of them in rainbow order with snow globe being first and then rainbow order here <laughs>
swatches helped kind of get a better representation of what these looked like. I tried to get as many different lighting sources as I could uh, and kind of show on my arm as best as I could. If you bought these from Terra Moons, tell me your favorite shade down below. Or if you haven't even bought them, just from this video, tell me what your favorite shade is below because I would love to know. I'm really excited to wear Terra Sphere. This is, this is the money. I'm also really excited to wear Solstice because I wanted a true like orange metallic, not just like I want a true orange metallic and a true yellow metallic and not like a gold, you know what I mean? So I have this. This is a great like clementine, tangerine, carrot, orange. Yeah. I feel like I won't get the most use out of the green, blue, and blue purple just because those aren't my typical shades. I mean, I'm wearing the blue one now, but I typically go towards warm tones just because I feel it looks better on me, but I'm really excited to play with these, rub them just more onto my hands, <laughs> and just go, ooh, shiny. And that's it. Uh, if you have any brands you want me to check out, please let me know down below. I will link Terra Moon's website and their Insta down below so you can check them out, see the pictures on their own social media because, you know, those are always the fancy pictures. And that, that'll do her. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time. Bye!